Welcome everyone to another lesson on Khadija Academy. Before we start this lesson, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, and the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Now let's go and start our lesson. Okay, so let's have an example on the um, here on the transformations to understand the idea and this will help us in the next lesson. So suppose that we have a three phase system or a three phase currents IA, IB and IC, three phase currents shifted by 120 degrees cosine omega t, cosine omega t minus 120 and cosine omega t plus 120. Now find I alpha and I beta convert from ABC frame to alpha beta frame. You can do this and then get ID and IQ by converting alpha beta to DQ. You can get I alpha and I beta by using the Clark transformation. Remember that I alpha I beta equal to I A I B I C and this is the Clark transformation. Now this is a very important part. You will see that in this transformation I used the power invariant which means power obtained from dq is similar to the power obtained from dq or alpha beta is equal to the power obtained from the three phase uh, system okay however you will find that the amplitude here of i alpha is not equal to amplitude of ia why because we use the power invariant transformation and why did we use this one because we would need this one in the next lesson and i will explain why did i use this transformation okay so we have i a i b i c which is i m cosine omega t i m cosine omega t on 120 i m cosine omega t plus 120 let's say for example i alpha will be equal to root 2 over 3 1 multiplied by i m cosine omega t i m cosine omega t then negative half i m cosine omega t minus negative half i m cosine omega t minus 120 and then we have negative half i m cosine omega t plus 120 degrees okay by simplifying this you will get finally i alpha will be like this uh, root 3 over 2 i m cosine omega t and for i beta which will be root 2 over 3 0 multiplied by i m cosine omega t root 3 over 2 multiplied by i m cosine omega t minus 120 negative root 3 over 2 multiplied by i m cosine omega t plus 120 gives us i am sine omega t you can see that the phase shift between them is 90 degrees they are shifted from each other by 90 degrees okay cosine and sine okay now what you will see exactly here is that looking at i am cosine omega t here this is representing what and this representing what what you will see is that i m cosine omega t representing i a right forget about the phase shift here this one is also i m i a but with a certain phase shift negative 90 degrees right or well, let's just read this to avoid confusion just focus on this one i m cosine omega t this one representing i a right now look carefully at i a i a as a magnitude i m cosine omega t this is the magnitude of a remember that there is a hundred there is a zero angle in space neglect this look at the magnitude only i a as a magnitude equal to i m cosine omega t the magnitude of i alpha i alpha as a magnitude will be this which is magnitude of i a multiplied by a certain constant root 3 over 2 root 3 over 2 what you will see as we exactly predicted 
that due to using power invariant i a magnitude will not be equal to i alpha magnitude because we use the power invariant transformation you can see that magnitude of a magnitude of alpha is a but multiplied by a certain constant root 3 over 2 similarly for i beta will be root 3 over 2 i max okay as you can see here not the same peak value okay so this is the first one so we will have a two waves two waves one cosine one sine or two cosine waves shifted by a 90 degrees in um, as a magnitude here okay or in space two because here you can see alpha is equal to at this point and beta at this point okay what about id and iq id and iq can be obtained using the power transformation taking i alpha and i beta which we obtained before multiply it by this matrix it will be cosine omega t multiplied by i m cosine omega t plus sine omega t multiplied by sine i m sine omega t root 3 over 2 and the second one will be negative sine omega t multiplied by cosine omega t and cosine omega t multiplied by sine omega t you will find that in the end after doing this uh, transformation you will get in the end root 3 over 2 i max for id and iq in our case will be equal to 0 now where did we get this let's do it so as you can see id here root 3 over 2 okay cosine omega t multiplied by i m cosine omega t gives us i on i m cosine omega t square and plus sine omega t multiplied by i m sine omega t so it will be i m sine omega t square cosine square plus sine square gives us one so it will be equal to root three over two i m okay again you will see that the magnitude here is not equal to the magnitude of i uh, magnitude of uh, i a which is i max here is not equal to the magnitude of i d or i d not equal to this magnitude okay there is a root 3 over 2 because we used again in the beginning the power uh, invariant transformation what about i q for i q let's look at it root 3 over 2 negative sine omega t cosine omega t so it will be i m cosine omega t sine omega t multiplied by negative cosine sine plus i m cosine omega t sine omega t so you'll see that we have two terms opposite to each other so it will give us zero so i q equal to zero now why this is even happening in this problem because what you will see is that the vbcc vector or the uh, final f resultant let's make it f resultant the resultant vector here is rotating with omega s and its angle it changing with time its angle theta is equal to omega s t so what did we do as you can see here that the angle used theta angle theta used for the transformation from and this is important because it is needed in every id iq transformation so as you can see theta is selected as omega t which is the same angle of the vector so it means that id id and iq like this so you'll see that the d axis d axis which we have our direct axis is oriented on the resultant vector right oriented on it because the angle theta used for, for transformation is exactly the same uh, angle here of the vector right so you can see that all of the vector id or all of the resultant vector which will be in this case i resultant 
will be in the same direction of id so they are equal to each other but with a certain difference in magnitude due to the transformation itself however iq does not have any component in the direction of the resultant vector so iq will be equal to zero that's why the selection of theta or the transformation angle is not necessary omega t it can be omega t minus 90 degrees if you would like to make for example iq oriented on this um, resultant vector okay so but in this example specifically we selected theta as omega t minus 90 degrees uh, omega t sorry omega t only why because we are going to use this in the next uh, problem or in the next vector control or understanding vector control and it we will use theta equal to omega t okay not only this but you will find that id here representing root mean square line value of the current where im is the peak phase value so what you will see that here im is the peak phase right of the current now look at this root 3 multiplied by i max divided by root 2 when you take a max value and divide by root 2 you get max divided by root 2 gives us rms when you take the i max and multiply it by root 3 you are converting it from phase to line to line that's why here id representing line rms current and i m is the big phase value so what we can learn is that the id in our transformation will be the line to line rms current okay this is very important as you will see this in the next uh, video about the vector control okay so again here before we end this lesson you can see that remember that d the angle of this um, rotating frame the angle between d axis and phase a is selected as theta right which is selected angle as we would like okay in this case when we make it omega t or omega st the synchronous speed multiplied by time if we select it it means that d axis will be exactly on the q and d d will be exactly on our vector because its angle will be the same angle of the vector thank you for watching this lesson i would like to invite you to our academy khadija academy premium uh, membership which will help you learn more about electrical engineering in this academy or in the academy membership you will find that we'll have more than 100 uh, courses in mass electrical engineering basics uh, power engineering uh, career uh, preparations for example we have electrical design we have courses on electric circuits power electronics etab matlab solar energy wave energy wind energy and much more you can uh, join our membership for just a small fee per month or you can just have a lifetime access in which you will get all of current uh, courses and classes and you can have them forever and not only this but any any new course that will be created you will be able to uh, watch it for completely free so what are the classes that i will learn in this membership you will find different classes in electric circuits you will find in uh, transformers, magnetic circuits, machines, uh, power electronics, uh, load estimation, lighting design, lightning also design, earthing system, cables, uh, generators, um, light current systems or low current systems, uh, off-grid design, on-grid design, very, very lot, <laughs> lots of uh, classes and courses in different uh, topics.